Imagine, if you will, a single moment, a mere 30 minutes out of the 24 hours we are given each day. What if I told you that such a small fraction of your time holds the key to unlocking the vast treasures of your potential, transforming not just the day ahead, but the very fabric of the next 30 years of your life? Think about that for a moment. 30 minutes seemingly inconsequential, yet when woven together day by day, they create a tapestry of change, growth, and unimaginable success. Now, I want you to reflect on the power that lies dormant within those minutes. In the grand scheme of life, 30 minutes might appear as nothing but a drop in the ocean. Yet, it is in these drops that the might of the ocean resides. It is within these precious moments that books are born, dreams are designed, and destinies are determined. How often have we let these moments slip through our fingers, unaware of the magic they hold, the transformation they can spark in our lives and in the lives of those around us. Every great journey begins with a single step. Every masterpiece starts with a single stroke. Every profound change in history began with a single thought, a single decision to dedicate time to that which moves us. That would. And so I ask you, what calls to your heart? What dreams lie nestled in the quiet corners of your soul? waiting for those 30 minutes of your day to breathe life into them. You see, the beauty of dedicating 30 minutes to your dreams is not just in the achievement of goals, but in the journey itself. It's in the quiet moments of dedication that we find clarity, that we hear the whispers of our true purpose. It is then that we realize we are not merely passing through time, you, we are sculpting it, molding it to the shape of our deepest desires and highest aspirations. And so, I urge you to pause to reflect on the power of 30 minutes. Think of the joy, the growth, the transformation that could unfold from such a simple commitment. Imagine where you could be in the next 30 years if you started today. Imagine the stories you tell, the lives you touch, the legacy you would leave behind. In the journey of life, where does the essence of transformation begin? It begins at the very core of our being, in the deep, uncharted waters of our self-worth and potential. Imagine standing before a mirror, not one that reflects the external, but a mirror that reveals the truth of who you are. In its reflection you see, not just yourself, but the infinite possibilities that lie within you. This, my friends, is where our journey to greatness begins, with the understanding and embracing of our intrinsic worth and boundless potential. Have you ever considered the magnitude of your own potential? It's like the universe within you, vast and filled with stars, each one representing a dream, a possibility, a chance for change and growth. But how often do we allow clouds of doubt and fear to obscure our stars? How often do we listen to the voices that tell us we are not enough, that our dreams are too big, that our aspirations are unreachable? I want you to hear me when I say you are enough, more than enough. Within you lies strength you've yet to summon, talents you've yet to explore, and a resilience that can withstand the fiercest storms. Your worth is not determined by the accolades you received, the balance in your bank account, or the opinions of others. Your worth, your incredible worth, is inherent. You were born with it. It's an inalienable part of who you are. But recognizing your worth is just the beginning. From this recognition must grow a belief in your potential, a belief so strong that it propels you forward, even when the path is obscured and the destination uncertain. Your potential is not a fixed entity confined by past achievements or failures. It is fluid, expansive, and limitless. It grows with every challenge faced, with every fear overcome, and with every step taken, even those that lead you astray. Just consider for a moment the lives of those who have changed the world. Were they so different from you? They had fears, they faced rejection, they encountered failure, yet they pressed on, fueled by a belief in their worth and potential. They understood that within them lay the power to make a difference, to create, to inspire, and to transform. 
not just their lives, but the lives of countless others. So how do we tap into this wellspring of potential? It starts with a single step, a decision to believe in ourselves, to invest in our growth, to embrace the journey of becoming. It requires us to be brave, to be vulnerable, to be willing to explore the depths of our being and discover the gifts we have to offer the world. Let us commit here and now to see ourselves through a lens of compassion and possibility. Let us vow to silence the inner critic that seeks to diminish our light and instead nurture the voice that whispers you can, you will. You are meant for greatness. As we continue on this path, let us remember that understanding our worth and realizing our potential is not a destination, but a journey. A journey that asks of us to be perpetual learners, seekers of truth, and believers in the magic that resides within us. In this understanding lies the foundation for all that we hope to achieve and all that we are destined to become. So as we move forward, let us do so with the knowledge that we are worthy, that our potential is boundless, and that the world awaits the unique contributions only we can make. Now. As we stand on the precipice of understanding our worth and untapped potential, the question arises, where do we go from here? The answer lies in the power of vision. Imagine holding a paintbrush dipped in the hues of your dreams, aspirations, and deepest desires. Our combust before you is vast, unmarked, and waiting. This canvas is your life and you, my dear friends, are the artist. What masterpiece will you create? A strategy for an extraordinary life begins with the courage to envision it. Every monumental journey, every groundbreaking discovery started with a vision. It started with someone daring to dream of what could be, setting their sights not on the world as it is, but as a vision becomes the North Star guiding us through the darkest nights and the fiercest storms, it reminds us of why we started on this path in the first place. But how do we create a vision for our lives? It begins with allowing ourselves to dream without restraint, to ask ourselves, what would I do if I knew I could not fail? This question opens the door to infinite possibilities, encouraging us to explore the depths of our desires and aspirations. It's not just about what we want to achieve, but who we want to become in the process. Our vision encompasses not only our professional goals and achievements, but also the richness of our personal lives, our relationships, and our growth as individuals. Creating a vision for your life is not a one-time event. It's an ongoing process of reflection, discovery, and refinement. It requires to dig deep to peel back the layers of societal expectations and personal fears to uncover the authentic desires that pulse within us. It asks us to be honest about what brings us joy, fulfillment, and a sense of purpose. And in this honesty, we find the seeds of our future selves waiting to be nurtured and brought to life. As you craft your vision, remember, it is uniquely yours. It doesn't have to conform to anyone else's idea of success or happiness. Your vision is your declaration to the universe of what you seek to manifest in your life. It is both a promise and a call to action, urging you to step into the greatness that awaits you. Once your vision is clear, Write it down. Give it life by putting it into words. Create a vision board filled with images and words that resonate with your dreams. Let this visual representation be a daily reminder of where you're headed. And then speak your vision into existence. Share it with those who support and uplift you. For there is power in verbalizing our dreams. It makes them real, tangible, and attainable. But creating a vision is just the beginning. The journey towards realizing this vision will test your resolve, challenge your beliefs, and demand your best effort. There will be moments of doubt, fear, and uncertainty. In these moments, remember why you started. Reconnect with your vision and let it fuel your perseverance. For it is in the pursuit of our vision that we uncover our true strength, resilience, and capacity for greatness. And so I invite you to dream boldly, to envision a life that sets your soul on fire. Let this vision guide your choices, actions, and the way you navigate the world. With every step you take towards your vision, 
you are not only creating the life you desire, but also inspiring others to do the same. Together, we can transform our individual visions into a collective reality filled with hope, progress, and boundless possibilities. Imagine, if you will, embarking on a journey without a map or compass. While the adventure may hold its allure, the path becomes fraught with uncertainty, leading us through unnecessary detours. Similarly, a life without goals is like a ship adrift at sea, subject to the whims of the tides with no set direction or destination. It is through setting goals that we harness the winds of our will, steering our lives with purpose and intention. But what is a goal without a milestone? It is but a distant dream, elusive and intangible. Milestones break down our grandest ambitions into achievable steps, each one a victory in its own right. A testament to our progress and perseverance, they serve not only as markers of our journey, but also as sources of motivation, reminding us of how far we've come and fueling our drive to push forward. Let me ask you that. What milestones will mark your journey toward them? Start by setting goals that align with your vision. Goals that challenge you, stretch you, and ultimately lead you to grow. These goals should be specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. The SMART criteria, as they say. Yet they should also be imbued with your heart's deepest desires. For a goal without passion is like a garden without sunlight. SMART. Unlikely to thrive. Once your goals are set, break them down into milestones. If your goal is a book, then a milestone could be writing the first chapter. If your dream is to run a marathon, then a first milestone might be running a consistent mile. Celebrate each milestone. No matter how small for in each, you are one step closer to your ultimate goal. Remember, the journey to achieving your goals is rarely a straight path. There will be obstacles, setbacks, and perhaps moments when your goals seem out of reach. In these moments, look back on the milestones you've achieved. Let them remind you of your strength, resilience, and the unwavering spirit that brought you this far. Adjust your plan as needed, for flexibility in the face of change is a hallmark of wisdom. And as you set your goals and map out your milestones, share them. Yes, speak them into existence among those who uplift and support you. There is power in verbalizing our aspirations, a force that propels us forward turning the whispered dreams of the night into the lived experiences of the day. So, as we forge ahead, let us do so with a plan. A plan that serves as a testament to our commitment to our vision. Let it be detailed yet adaptable, ambitious yet attainable. And above all, let it reflect the depth of our desire to lead a life marked by purpose, passion, and profound achievement. Together with our goals set, and our milestones defined, we embark on this journey not as solitary travelers, but as a collective, each step forward, a ripple that inspires others to dream, to plan, and to achieve. This, my friends, is how we not only reach our destination, but also become beacons of hope and possibility along the way. In the tapestry of life, every thread we weave, every stitch we make, tells a story, not just of who we are, but of who we aspire to be. It's in the daily commitments, the habits and routines we cultivate with care and intention, that our grandest visions begin to take form, transforming from the ethereal into the fabric of our if into a thou. Have you ever paused to consider the power of a single day? The profound impact of what seems to be mundane, routine, a mere repetition of the day before? Let's ponder for a moment the marvel that is the rising sun, a daily spectacle that never ceases, each dawn a renewal, a promise of a fresh start. It's a profound reminder that no matter the darkness we've faced, light always returns. This, my dear friends, is the essence of commitment to daily habits and routines. It's about rising each day with purpose, with intention, 
embracing the light within us, ready to shine forth and illuminate our path to greatness. But how do we cultivate these habits, these routines that build the foundation of our dreams? It begins with a choice, a decision to commit to actions that align with our deepest values, our highest aspirations. It's about recognizing that every action, no matter how small, is a step towards the life we yearn for, a brushstroke in the masterpiece we're creating. Imagine the power of starting each day with gratitude of taking a moment to reflect on the abundance that surrounds us, the blessings we often overlook. This simple act sets the tone for our day, shifting our focus from what we lack to the wealth of riches we possess. It's a habit that fosters an attitude of abundance opening our hearts to receive and recognize the opportunities that come our way. Consider, too, the impact of dedicating time each morning to visualize our goals, to see in our mind's eye the life we're building, the dreams we're nurturing. Let's practice this daily rendezvous with our vision, keeps our aspirations vivid and alive, guiding our choices and actions throughout the day, and one of the commitment to lifelong learning, to feed our minds with knowledge, inspiration, habit of reading, listening, and seeking new understandings not only enriches our minds but expands our world, connecting us to stories, ideas, and possibilities beyond our immediate experience. Yet, as we embrace these routines, let us not forget the power of self-care, of tending to the temple that houses our spirit. Daily habits of nourishment, movement, and rest are not acts of indulgence, but of reverence for the incredible vessel that enables us to experience life in its fullness, to pursue our dreams with vigor and vitality. In the commitment to our daily habits and routines, there lies a profound act of faith, a belief in the unseen, in the incremental changes that accumulate over time, propelling us toward our destiny. It's a testament to our belief in our own potential in our capacity to shape our lives one day, one habit at a time. So I invite you, challenge you to examine the tapestry of your daily life. What habits are you weaving into the fabric of your days? Do they reflect the grand vision you hold for your life? Are they threads of gold shimmering with purpose and intention? Or are they frayed, weakened by neglect or misalignment with your deepest truths? Let us make a commitment here and now to cultivate daily habits and routines that elevate us that draw us ever closer to the realization of our dreams. Let this commitment be our daily renewal, our personal dawn where we rise again and again with purpose and intention ready to weave our dreams into the reality of our lives. But how do we cultivate such a mindset? How do we become architects of our own resilience? Sculptors of our positivity it begins, I believe, with the stories we tell ourselves, the narratives we weave about our lives, our struggles, and our triumphs. These stories hold power, the power to uplift us or weigh us down. So I ask you, what stories are you telling yourself? Are they tales of hope, strength, and perseverance? Or are they narratives of fear, doubt, and defeat? I consider the power of reframing our challenges as opportunities for growth as chances to learn and become stronger when faced with adversity. We, we can view it as a barrier, an insurmountable obstacle, or we can see it as a stepping stone, a test of our resilience and a catalyst for our evolution. This shift in perspective is not just transformative. It's revolutionary changing the very fabric of our reality. Cultivating a mindset of resilience and positivity also demands that we embrace the full spectrum of our emotions. It's about allowing ourselves to feel deeply, to experience the breadth of human emotion, joy and sorrow, triumph and defeat, and yet choose to focus on the light even in the darkest moments. It's about finding that spark of hope, that undercurrent of strength that runs through our veins even when the world around us seems to crumble. Let's also talk about the power of gratitude, a cornerstone of a resilient and positive mindset. In the act of giving thanks, even for the smallest blessings, we shift our focus from what we lack to what we possess, from scarcity to abundance. A shift not only changes our internal state, 
but also attracts more of what we appreciate into our lives. Gratitude, therefore, is not just an act of acknowledgement, but a magnet for miracles. Moreover, cultivating resilience and positivity is a communal journey. It's about surrounding ourselves with voices that uplift us, with people who see the light within us, even when we are blinded by our storms. It's about being that beacon of hope for others, sharing our stories of overcoming and lighting the way for those who walk beside us. For in this shared journey lies the true strength of the human spirit, a collective resilience that binds us, a shared positivity that propels us forward. And yet the cultivation of such a mindset is not a destination, but a journey, a daily practice of choosing hope over despair, strength over weakness, joy over sorrow. It's a commitment to ourselves to nurture our inner garden with love, patience, and care, ensuring that no matter the season, we remain steadfast, blooming with grace and resilience. So as we embark on this journey together, let us do so with the understanding that our mindset is the lens through which we view the world. It shapes our experiences, colors our perceptions, and determines our reality. Let us therefore choose to wear the lens of resilience and positivity to see the world not as a place of limitation, but as a canvas of endless possibilities. Together, armed with resilience and bathed in positivity, we step forward into the unknown, not as victims of our circumstances, but as victors of our choices. For in the end, it is not the challenges we face that define us but how we choose to respond to them. With fear or with courage, with despair or with hope, let us choose hope, my friends, and in doing so, let us transform not only our lives, but the world around us. For in the heart of resilience beats the rhythm of life itself. And in the glow of positivity, we find our truest, most radiant selves. Let me share with you a secret whispered in the rustling leaves of ancient trees and echoed in the timeless flow of the rivers. Growth and change are not forces to be feared, but gifts to be embraced. They are the architects of our character, the weavers of our destiny, shaping us into beings of strength, wisdom, and grace. But embracing growth and change requires courage, my friends. It asks us to step beyond the familiar, to venture into the unknown with faith in our hearts and dreams as our compass. It challenges us to shed the skins of our past selves, to rise from the ashes of our fears and doubts, reborn and radiant like the phoenix of old. Have you ever felt the stirrings of a dream within you, a vision so bold and breathtaking that it scares you? That, my dear friends, is the call of your destiny beckoning you towards growth and change. It's an invitation to embark on the greatest adventure of your life, a journey that will test you, transform you, and ultimately reveal the full magnitude of your brilliance. This journey is not without its trials, for growth is forged in the fires of adversity. There will be moments of uncertainty, times when the path ahead is shrouded in mist and the destination seems but a distant dream. In these moments, I urge you to hold fast to your faith, to trust in the journey, even when the end is not in sight. For it is in walking through the unknown and embracing the lessons of each challenge that we truly grow. Change too is a companion on this journey, a force that sweeps through our lives, uprooting the old and sowing the seeds of the new. It may arrive as a gentle breeze or a tumultuous storm, but in its wake, it will rise. It leaves us transformed. Change is the universe's way of reminding us that we are not meant to remain stagnant, that there is always another layer to uncover, another depth to our being to explore. As we journey through the landscapes of growth and change, let us do so with openness and curiosity. Let us view each experience, each encounter, as an opportunity to learn, to expand our understanding and to deepen our connection to ourselves and the world around us. Let us celebrate each step forward, each obstacle overcome, as a victory in our quest for self-discovery. And let us remember we do not travel this path alone. Along the way, we will find fellow travelers, kindred spirits, who share our quest for growth and understanding. Together, we will support each other, 
share our stories, and draw strength from our shared experiences. Therefore, in the communion of souls, lies the true magic of growth and change. Ye, the realization that we are all connected, all part of this beautiful, ever-evolving tapestry of life. So as we stand on the threshold of tomorrow, let us embrace growth and change with open arms. Let us step into the unknown with courage and faith, knowing that each step we take is a step towards becoming the fullest expression of ourselves. Let us embark on this journey with joy in our hearts, for it is a journey of becoming, of unfolding, of coming home to ourselves. As we weave the final threads into the tapestry of our shared journey today, a question arises, echoing through the corridors of our collective consciousness. What impact can your 30 minutes truly have on the world? It's a question that invites us to peer beyond the horizon of our personal aspirations, to envision a world transformed by the collective power of individual commitment. Every moment we dedicate to nurturing our dreams, to cultivating our inner garden of peace, Resilience and growth sends ripples across the vast ocean of humanity. These ripples, though, they may begin as mere whispers on the water can swell into waves of change, touching lives far beyond our immediate reach. It's a testament to the profound interconnectedness of our existence, a reminder that in lifting ourselves, we lift the world. Imagine, if you will, a world where every soul dedicates just 30 minutes a day to the pursuit of their highest self. 30 minutes of kindness, of learning, of creativity, of service. These collective moments become a powerful force for good, a tidal wave of transformation that reshapes the landscape of our reality. It's in this shared commitment to growth and giving that we find the true essence of our impact on the world. But the impact of your 30 minutes extends beyond the tangible, beyond the immediate. It's in the inspiration you ignite in the hearts of those who witness your journey, in the hope you kindle in the eyes of a stranger who hears your story. You become a beacon of possibility, a living proof that change is within reach, that dreams can be realized, and that every step towards our personal evolution is a step towards a brighter, kinder, more beautiful world. So as we stand at the crossroads of what has been and what could be, let us choose to make our 30 minutes a daily sanctuary of purpose and passion. Let us fill these moments with the essence of our deepest desires, not just for our own fulfillment, but as a gift to the world. For in doing so, we contribute to a collective awakening, a global movement towards a future where every individual has the freedom, the courage, and the support to pursue their dreams. In the grand narrative of history, let it be said that we were not just witnesses to change, but active participants in its unfolding, that we not only dared to dream of a better world, but took daily steps, 30 minutes at a time, towards its realization. And in this commitment, in this seemingly small daily act, we discover that our impact on the world is immeasurable that our potential to inspire, uplift, and transform is boundless. And so as we close this chapter and look towards the next, let us carry forward the lessons of our journey, the power of our 30 minutes. Let it be a guiding light in our lives, a reminder that in every moment lies the opportunity to make a difference, to change a life, to change the world with this understanding, let us step boldly into the future hearts ablaze with the promise of what we can achieve together for ourselves, for each other, and for the world.